Hey you guys, welcome to another session by Scalar Academy. We've all at some point edited pictures on an app on our phones or applied Instagram and Snapchat filters before posting them online. So most of us these days have at least a basic understanding of what image processing is. But in this video, we'll learn a lot more than just image editing. We'll start with the basics of what image processing is, the steps involved in it, and then move on to a slightly higher understanding of the libraries that are involved in image processing and the applications of image processing beyond our phones. Before we sink our teeth into it, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you keep receiving notifications for all the fun, informative, and insightful videos here at Scalar. Let's get this show on the road. So, what is image processing? Image processing is a way of imaging using digital computers to get an enhanced image or extract other useful information from it. In this method, some operations are performed on an image or video frame, which then renders it different from its source. It's a type of signal processing in which image or video frames are the input and the output, maybe an image or a characteristic feature associated with it. In this day and age, image processing is one of the most rapidly grown technologies. Image processing forms a core research area within computer science and engineering disciplines too. Image processing is of two types, digital image processing and analog image processing. Analog image processing is used for the processing of hard copies such as photography reels and printing, while digital image processing is used to process digital images using digital means. Furthermore, digital image processing may be editing of any video, audio, or image using a digital computer. It's the process of editing an existing image in a way as to enhance it or extract information from it. In straightforward terms, image processing is the analysis and manipulation of a digital image to improve its quality. The most common example of image processing applications is Adobe Photoshop, which employs the following three basic steps. Importing an image analysis and image management, and the result. However, image processing involves many more complex steps to reach a desired result. Steps involved in image processing. Now, let's discuss in brief the steps taken to process an image, a video, or a digital asset. Number one is image acquisition. Image acquisition refers to the action of acquiring or retrieving the image from a source, such as a camera or sensor or satellites, etc. Without image acquisition, there's nothing to work with. Number two, image enhancement. Image enhancement refers to the process of changing the image according to your needs. It can include actions such as sharpening the image, turning off the sound of the video, rotating the image, cropping it to the most essential parts of the image, etc., to make the identification of its key features easier. Third step is image restoration. Image restoration is a function that is used to taking a noisy or corrupted image and approximating a new, cleaner image out of it. Restoration can happen in various ways, such as improving the focus, de-blurring, sound and action blurring. The aim of image restoration is to lessen the noise in an image and reclaim the loss of precision. Color image processing. Color image processing needs the understanding of the physics of color, as well as light and vision psychology. In this, the intensity of colors, their saturation, etc. can be processed. Wavelets processing. It refers to the process of image representation and helps in analyzing multi-resolutional images. Next up, image compression. Image compression is the method of reducing the byte size of the image without decreasing its quality beyond an acceptable threshold. It's used a lot in photography as it cuts costs by reducing the amount of disk space required to store images or assets. Character recognition. OCR refers to optical character recognition, which is an electronic or machine-operated replacement of scanned copies or tests that's readable by the system. It is used to access records from emails, paper, business cards, invoices, etc. It's used as a common way to create digitally printed manuscripts for those that can be stored, sorted, and searched in processes like text-to-speech, machine conversions, and display online, retrieval of key data and text mining. What are the prerequisites of learning image processing? First, you must have an understanding of the concept. Secondly, you should know how an image is presented in digital memory. Each image is presented by a set of pixels that form a matrix of pixel values. 
In a grayscale image, the value of pixels range from 0 to 255. Next is to define the intensity of a pixel in a color image. In color images, there are three channels, red, green, and blue, or RGB. So there'll be three such matrices present for each image. Image processing with MATLAB. MATLAB is a programming platform that is specifically designed for scientists and engineers to design and analyze products and systems that end up changing the course of the world. It's used in photography and as part of lab problems. Why is MATLAB used in image processing? MATLAB is a scientific programming language, and it's used in image processing by writing function and script files to perform specific tasks. It provides a strong mathematical support for implementing advanced algorithms. It helps in replicating the result in case it's needed and also testing the final result. Types of images in the MATLAB toolbox. There are mainly four types of images by the MATLAB toolbox. Gray images, binary images, indexed images, and RGB images. Grayscale image refers to an image which only contains shades of gray. They're also known as monochrome images. Grayscale images use 8-bit per pixel in the image. Where a 0-pixel value refers to black, a 255-pixel value refers to white, and the medium value between 0 and 255 shows different shades of gray. Binary images. These refer to an image that can only have two colors, and each pixel is either one color or the other. The colors in binary images are usually black and white. Binary images use one bit per pixel, whereas zero usually refers to black and one refers to white. These images are presented as 2D columns. A big advantage of binary images is the small size of the image. Featured images. Featured images are those that represent the mood, content, and a theme of whatever it's representing. It refers to a matrix of whole numbers, X, in which each number means a specific price line of RGB in the map, which is called the color map. RGB image. In an RGB image, the RGB refers to red, green, and blue colors. In these images, each pixel is presented as three times the value of its R, G, and B components. RGB image is represented in 3D dimensions of size, M cross N cross 3 where M and N are the height and the width of the image, and 3 is the color segment in the image. Applications of image processing. Starting with intelligent transportation systems, one of the applications of image processing is the intelligent transportation system used for automatic identification of numbers and traffic signs. Next up, remote sensing. In this application of image processing, the sensor takes images of the Earth's surface through satellites or a screen scanner. The images are processed and used to translate regions and materials that are used for agricultural production, monitoring, resource mobilization, town planning, flood management, etc. Tracking a moving object. This application allows you to measure movement and to get a visual record of the moving objects. The various types of tracking are Awareness based on an active tracking. Security monitoring. Image processing is used in aerial surveillance systems that monitor sea and land. It's used to find the types and configurations of submarines. One of the important functions of this application is to distinguish the many elements that are present in the water, differentiate between different bodies, and measure parameters such as cohesion, perimeter, area width and length, etc. The distribution of the items is done on various sites to define the whole shipping structure. Entire oceanic situations can be interpreted by analyzing the local distribution. Automatic testing program. The application helps in improving the productivity and the quality of the product in the industry. An example for this is automatic testing of incandescent lamp fibers. This function facilitates automated testing of the process of creating a lamp. General Electric Corporation operates this system. In automatic testing of incandescent lamp fibers, a piece of the binary image of the string of the lamp is created, on which a silhouette of a filament is formed. Silhouettes are examined to know the differences in the height of the lamp. Automatic face testing systems. Image processing techniques like fractal analysis, edge detection, texture detection, etc. are used for automated face detection. Wrong identification. This application helps in identifying incorrect items in electronic systems. A large amount of heat energy is caused by faulty parts, so analyzing infrared images can help in detecting such errors. 
So what are the libraries involved in image processing? Digital data will skyrocket up to 175 zettabytes, and a huge part of this data is image. According to IDC, there are top eight libraries in Python, which are used in machine learning tasks. These are as follows. OpenCV. OpenCV is an open source library that was developed by Intel in 2000. This library is mostly used in computer vision tasks, such as face detection, face recognition, image segmentation, etc. It also contains a lot of useful functions that you may use in ML. Scikit Image. It is a Python-based library that has a few paths written in Cython to achieve better performance. It consists of the algorithm for filtering feature detection, analysis, segmentation, color space manipulation, and more. SciPy. SciPy is a popular library used in scientific and mathematic computation. It can also perform multi-dimensional image processing with its submodule SciPy.ndImage. It helps the most in image processing actions such as image segmentation, face detection, reading image, feature extraction, etc. Pillow or PIL. Pillow is an open source library used for image processing that requires Python programming language. It can do tasks such as revealing, reading, and saving images in various formats. NumPy, again a Python-based library. It was created in 2005. It stands for Numerical Python. It can easily perform tasks such as image cropping, masking, or manipulation of pixel values. Mahodas, another Python-based computer vision library that was designed for bioimage informatics. Mahodas reads and writes images in NumPy Array and implements them in C with a smooth Python interface. It has the most popular functions, such as watershed, morphological processing, template matching, etc. Simple ITK. It's an open source platform that is widely used for image segmentation and image registration. In image segmentation, it uses a CMake build environment. PG Magic. It's a graphics magic binding for Python that allows options to perform tasks on images such as drawing text, rotation, sharpening, resizing, etc. It allows for manipulation of images and editing. Why we need image processing. Image processing is a rapidly growing technology. It is often viewed as a software that improperly exploits the image to achieve an unattainable level of beauty or to support a distorted version of reality. However, this software is not accurately described as a means of interpretation between human viewing systems and digital imaging devices. Digital cameras view the world in a different way than the human eye. Digital cameras have additional sound effects and bandwidth. The simplest way to look at image processing is that it is a digital way of processing where an image, video, or audio is edited in a way to resolve any conflicts that exist in them using a digital computer. And with the advancements in this field, who knows where we'll be in a few years from now? Okay, let's wrap up the session by quickly revisiting what we discussed in this video. So firstly, processing refers to the action of performing certain tasks on an image or any digital copy to create a new and improved copy or to extract information from it. Image processing involves three basic steps, importing an image, analysis, and image management. It includes data compression and enhancement of image and visual detection patterns. A modified digital output is the final stage of image processing. Then we went through some of the libraries used for the process and its applications. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you are able to take something back from here. Before going, please like this video. Leave us a comment below and share this with your friends or peers. Sign up for a free webinar using the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in another video where we discuss a new topic. Until then, goodbye. As always, we have a couple of great book recommendations. One, Digital Image Processing by Rafael C. Gonzalez. And two, Principles of Digital Image Processing by Wilhelm Berger.